Hi, my name is Scott Fong, and I am a principal engineer with Cisco Systems. I am also co-chair to SBDM at DMTF. I would like to discuss new features in SBDM 1.2. But before I do that, I would like to talk about some goals. There are two main goals in SBDM. They are device attestation and securing communication over the wire. Device attestation is the ability to attest various aspects of a device, such as firmware integrity and device identity. Securing communication over the wire is providing the transport the ability to secure communication of any data over that transport. So to date, SBDM has these features. Starting at version 1.0, there was measurement support and device authentication. In version 1.1, secure session and mutual authentication was added. In 1.2, the new features are provisioning, certificates, message fragmentation, and miscellaneous things. Provisioning. Provisioning allows for a device certificate to be installed in a secure environment, such as a secure manufacturing environment. To do this, there are two new requests and responses that were created. They are set certificate and certificate response. Get CSR and its corresponding response CSR. Set certificate and certificate response installs the certificate chain to that specified slot. Whereas get CSR and CSR is for devices capable of generating a certificate signing request. The CSR is then signed by a certificate signing infrastructure. Another new feature is alias certificate support. So what is an alias certificate? Well, this is a certificate that is dynamic rated, usually on, air, on each device reset. And because of this, they are mutable. Additionally, they are chained to the device certificate. Here is an illustration of two certificate models. They are the device certificate model, and the alias certificate model. The device certificate model is the original SBDM model and it has been in since version 1.0. As you can see, both models start with a root CA followed by zero or more intermediate CA. The differences between the two models start with the device certificate. In the device certificate model, the device certificate is a lead certificate, whereas in the alias certificate model, the device certificate is a certificate CA. After the device in the alias certificate model, after the device certificate CA is when the alias portion of the whole chain begins. Following the device certificate CA and be zero or more alias intermediate CA. The chain ends with a leaf certificate that is called an alias certificate. The last major feature is message fragmentation. Message fragmentation is a feature that allows a large SPDM message to be transferred in multiple fragments. In SPDM, we call it chunk to account for the receiving or transmitting buffer size. To do this, two new requests and responses are used, chunk send and the corresponding res response chunk send act, chunk get, and the corresponding response chunk response. Chunk send and chunk send act sends a large SPDM request in fragment, whereas chunk get and its corresponding response, chunk response, retrieves a large SPDM response in fragments. To illustrate this, we here look at an example of sending a large request. This illustration uses a large set certificate message as an example. On the left, 
is a, is a generic illustration of the request divided into chunks, chunk zero through chunk three. And here, to send this large set certificate message to the responder, the requester uses chunk send to send the first chunk, chunk zero, to the responder. The responder re replies with chunk send act, and the requester then sends the next chunk using chunk send and sending chunk sequence one. So this repeats itself until the very last chunk. At the very last chunk, an optimization occurs. After receiving the last chunk, the responder can send the set certificate response along with the response to that chunk in one payload. So here, as you can see, that the chunk send uh, that the chunk send act has the response to the to the large set certificate embedded in itself. To retrieve a large SPDM response, here is an illustration using get measurement. Get measure the issues the get measurement. The responder notices the too large and has to tell the requester that it, it cannot send that response. It does that by sending an error message with error code large response and a handle to help the requester and the responder retrieve that large message. The requester sees that error with that specific error code and uses chunk get to get the first chunk. The requester is sends that to the responder. The responder sees that it wants the first chunk, sends that back in chunk response. The requester now has the first chunk, and it repeats that sequence again with chunk get until the very last chunk. Here are some references if you wish to look into more detail about SPDM. This concludes the presentation. Thank you for watch, watching. Please share your feedback to DMTF Feedback Portal. Please subscribe to DMTF and watch other videos from DMTF.